Hey everyone, so I have the Petzl Ange Finesse 17 centimeter with the large uh, carabiner. And I'm just gonna give my kind of thoughts on them. Um, I've been using this quick draw for, um, I think two, two eye seasons now, and it's my kind of go-to. Um, I really got it just because it was one of the more lightweight um, quick draws on the market. That's a complete draw with, you know, a semi bigger dog bone. Cause a lot of times you see with the Alpine style, quick draws is that the dog bone itself is actually pretty thin, whereas this one's a decently thick um, dog bone. Um, I do know that people, a lot of people say that because this dog bone is not thick and it's more thin, that sometimes it hurts people's hands when they go to grab it. Um, I haven't really had that problem. It just could, it could be just due to my hand size, but it's like a decent draw and I've grabbed it and I don't have any problem with it. And you know, you kind of look at the advantage of it is that you're getting a decently big dog bone with big carabiners at a low weight. Um, I'll put the weight across right here so you guys can know exactly what it is. But all I can tell you is that I have 10 of these and when I rack them up, I, I don't feel the weight at all. And that's pretty crazy because I've used some other quick draws before. And when I've racked up with them, like you definitely start feeling that weight and uh, kind of a big feature in that why you don't really feel it is that it's a mono gate wire gate. Um, this is really nice as, you know, with other carabiners, there's sometimes a little notch right here and that can get caught either like on the rope end or the um, bolt or, uh, yeah, the bolt or ice screw end. Um, normally when you're unclipping this from either a bolt or an ice screw, if there's a little, you know, notch right there that can get caught on it. And then even with this, if there's on the rope end, you can get um, the rope caught in there. And it's just a, it's not a fun thing to mess around with, especially when you are trying just to unclip it. Sometimes that can make you like pump out a little bit faster. So the mono gate is really nice. Um, it does have that little hood in there and it's just, it makes it ideal um, for not having to deal with that. And you know, it does play a part of why this has a lot of weight saving. It's just like that excess material is not needed. So, you know, you get a lighter weight carabiner. Um, kind of what I've seen um, people say is that the, if you're going to go with this draw or just this carabiner in general, it's better to go with the large carabiner, which is what I have here. Um, Cause you can definitely see that, you know, the, the uh, access for the gate opening is what, it, was what I'm actually looking for. The gate opening is actually quite small. Um, I haven't personally noticed anything um, bad about it, um, both either even on the rope end too. I mean, they're both the same, they're just different colors. Um, I haven't noticed anything bad about the gate opening, uh, but I do know that in the smaller uh, version of this carabiner, that is just that gate opening is definitely smaller. So you might run into pro some problems with that, but I do recommend the large one. Um, I've had no problems with it and it's been really great to use. Um, yeah, and like really only my one complaint about this draw is that just on the clipping on the rope end, um, it, gen it the carabiner can slide around and that can cause some problems, especially when you are trying to clip. Um, so normally, a lot of uh, Petzl's uh, quick draws, they have a string right here to kind of, it's called a string, it just keeps the carabiner in place. And at first, even on my um, website, on the little blurb that I wrote about this uh, quick draw, I was kind of blaming it on the string was the problem, but I've kind of recently found that that's not the problem. Um, what I can tell you right now is, and what I can show you is that it is definitely a problem just because I'm not putting much force into this and the carabiner is sliding around and that can be kind of a bad thing to deal with, especially if you are on lead and, you know, especially like with ice climbing, I mean, you're putting in the ice screw, your hand might be starting to pump out and then you go to clip, you go to grab the carabiner to clip the rope and then it just moves and now you got to deal with that whole thing. Um, it is just a pain because there's a lot of times you'll get up and you'll just see that your carabiner is like this and you, then you have to take that extra time to straighten it out. And so at first I was thinking that it was the draw that was the problem. Like it was just like the whole thing is just, there's a flaw that it moves around. And I've seen 
um, some other reviews, I do agree that it does move around. And I was just thinking maybe it was probably the string that was the problem. Um, but I just recently found out that it is not the problem. And the reason I found that out is I took the same beaner. It's actually just from one of the quick draws. I think I've, I'm showing nine quick draws here. I own 10. Um, so I took the orange um, carabiner and I put it on another of Petzl's quick draw. I think this is the express quick draw, I believe. Um, I know it's the one that comes with the spirit. So, but you can kind of see already that how much material there is of a difference um, between, you know, how much the dog bone actually takes up space in the, in the string compared to this one, compared to this one. And that might be some of the problem. I mean, you can definitely see that there's a, a thickness difference. I mean, this is a Dyneema material and this is just nylon. Um, so there's a little bit of a weight difference, but what we can really see is that that, that width of the material definitely has a play into right here um, with the string. So because there's a lack, not a lack, but there's not as much material there and it's the same string that are used for both of these, um, they're just, it means that this material, it doesn't, it doesn't want to stop the carabiner. It moves like really easily back and forth. Whereas on this, um, on this uh, dog bone with the string, it doesn't want to move. So I'm now kind of conflicted a little bit because now it has to have, you have to have that kind of internal conversation of whether you want to go with the lighter weight dog bones and just deal with this carabiner moving, or do you go with a little bit heavier of a dog bone and still go with the orange to save weight in the carabiner end, and then you get that secure, um, that secure fit. And I definitely, I mean, this is, this is super secure. This isn't moving a lot. I mean, the moving that you're seeing right here is play within the dog bone itself. It's not on the string, whereas this right here, that's, play in the in the dog bone that's play in the string and so that is definitely a more of a pain to deal with um, so now I'm almost considering replacing all my dog bones with just kind of the express um, I know it's nylon not Dyneema but I don't know I'm kind of rethinking things but I definitely wanted to say and I kind of wanted to just make that clear that it's not actually the string that's the problem and it's not the design of the string it's just that there's a lack of material, and, and it makes sense because it is a thin, it's a thin dog bone. It's meant to be lightweight. Um, so it all makes sense, but you can definitely tell that it's just a little bit of a problem not to have that much material there to stop that carabiner. Because as I'll say again, it's definitely a pain in the butt when you go to clip a draw and you see your carabiners like that. So, um, but overall, um, it's a really good, quick draw. I really like it. Um, I don't think I'll go with anything other than that, other than just maybe getting a different dog bone. I really like the Ange um, carabiners. They clip easy. They're just, there's like, a, they just, they're a nice clipping carabiner. And uh, yeah, overall, I've been super happy with these um, other than just that little play there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, it's definitely nice that I can bring full size carabiners and a pretty wide dog bone and not have to worry about um, where my weight's at with them. But uh, yeah, that's just been kind of, you know, my thoughts on the Petzl Ange. You know, as the season goes on, I'll make sure to update my thoughts, especially on the website. And uh, yeah, I will let you guys know whether I switch to, I think it is the Express um, dog bone with all of these because I honestly am thinking that this might be a better setup even though I think I don't think this dog bone is, is as heavy as everyone's thinking so yeah I'll definitely let you guys know whether I switch all my quick draws to these but uh, other than that that's been a pretty basic kind of just current thoughts on the Ange and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one